Yes, that time of the week, baby. It's toe drag swag divisional round officially in the books. It's time to see who had the best toe drag swag, who got their feet down right before they went out of bounds on the sideline or even in the end zone. Let's start this thing right out the gate with my guy Ted Ginn Jr. with his second toe drag swag of the season. Check this out on the sideline. Pay attention to the slow motion. Hey, bartender, can I get again? Straight up. My man gets on the out route and check him out slowing himself down, planting that left foot. This is the beautiful view right here. Oh, we, oh, we, a little foot fire right there on the bottom, baby. Nate, some people like a glass again in a drag. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's a, some people, that's their that's thing. That's their thing. That's what I'm saying. Some people like it. Ted Ginn Jr. turned himself into a great route runner over the years. Remember, he's just a speed guy. Now you see him doing a little bit of everything within that offense. That's right. It's cool to see it. He's the deep threat, the home run hitter. No, no, no. He's a wide receiver. He's been in the league a long time. He's a wide receiver, okay? And you've been talking about him. Kaden and Hyper have Ted Ginn Jr. all season long. He did his thing. Shout out to Ted Ginn for making a list. All right, here's a guy that we love, an OG vet wide receiver, my man Eric Decker for the Titans. He had some drops Decker. throughout the playoffs, but he stepped up big in some really big moments. But check out the pocket awareness first and foremost by my guy Mariota, and then hits him on the sideline. I love it because that right there was a toe drag sack. So again, this is where you get the dead legs I tell you guys about. Mm -hmm. Catch the ball, and then you go limp immediately because you're so close to that sideline, and that's how you get him down and secure the catch. My man, that is beautiful. That's not his right first there. time in this segment either, Nate. It's not his first time. A couple time. times there. You better deck yourself before you deck wreck yourself. yourself. My man Eric Decker making the list. I can appreciate that. Getting his hands underneath that rock, dragging those feet, getting the dead legs, and of course, it's always good when you do it on your own sideline. All right, here's a guy that did his thing. Showed up big. We showed him in the highlights. Corey Davis, the wide receiver, young fella, balling. He's banged up in the beginning of the year. And he said, "You know what? I'm going to step up." on a big stage where everybody's paying attention. My man, Corey, this is, mm. I guess he's introduced himself, kind of like boy meets world. Mm. Corey, huh? Which I love, because I feel like they needed a bright spot to build upon now their head coach is gone. So he had two touchdowns. He had 65 targets this year, not one touchdown, two in a playoff game. He Fifth really overall did. pick. He was drafted before a lot of stars in this league. We talk about a lot of these were young receivers. Cup and Juju. This guy was taken fifth overall. Mm. He played like it on Sunday. Nate and I loved him on that draft red carpet. Yeah, and oh, he was swagged out. And Malcolm Butler. One of the best cover corners in this league. And we have another one. Corey Davis, he wasn't done. My wow. man was making plays. We're familiar with the touchdown that we saw on the other side of the field. But check out this one right here. This is beautiful. He catches it over the shoulder, so he has to track the ball with the DB draped on his back. Butler's saying no. He's saying yeah. And he knows that he's going to hit the sideline, so he plants his feet and drags his feet. Which is Nate, great. you know what I love? About, that's why I love this segment. The Titans got hammered in this game. We've shown three straight Titans clips. Right. Not about the scoreboard. It's about the sideline. About the sideline. And the artistry. And this artistry and what we love about this, this is a lasting memory for the Titans offense, but more importantly for a nice young play. wide receiver. So I him like walking him. into next season, he's going to be more confident than he's ever been. All right. Last but certainly Any not least. Any from a least. team that played decently this weekend? Okay, all right, all right, I got you. Hold on, hold on. This one right here, my phone was blowing this up. The Bears? And I saw it live, and I was like, this is going to be number one. My God, Miles Jack with the toe drag swag interception. Big Ben trying to go to the sideline. Check it out, though. Ding, ding. He's yes. actually wow. behind the tight end, tracks the ball, finds it with his eyes, and then he toe taps. I call it this. The toe jack swag. Nice. My man doing his thing. This is a beautiful interception. This really defines this defense, right? Finding ways to make plays. A typical DB, a typical linebacker, they're just going to get the pass breakup. They're going to knock it down. They'll flex at the sideline. They'll even point the big Ben. But he's like, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. That ball's in the air. I'm going to get it and turn this field around for my offense. It's almost bingo board, but when Miles Jack played at UCLA, he played running back, he played safety, he played kick returner, he Linebacker. played punt returner. He's got the greatest hands of any of these defensive players, and that's where you see it. Right? For, no, he's for just, interception, too. 